Hello and welcome to episode 68 of my Terraria Calamity mod playthrough. Day of crafting and a little bit of gathering of the poltergeist, or poltergast rather. But first things first, um, we have our loot that we got from the fourth level of the abyss and then we have everything that we can craft using Reaper Teeth in here. Now, a number of these things we can't currently do anything with because we need more Ruinous Souls, which is why we're going to be killing them Portagast a few more times. But this lot over here, these ones, this one, this one, and this, which is for the set of armor, we can indeed craft. Since we're going to be farming it for materials, we've also prepped, I think, everything that we want and we can make with um, Ruinous Souls. But again, we have no spare Ruinous Souls. So, we will have to make do with what we have for now. Okay, so let's start crafting things. Let's get the Reaper Tooth Necklace. That's the upgrade for the Sand, uh, sand Shark Necklace. It's just a damage increase in armor penetration. It's Oh, nice, it came warded. Uh, it's potentially just something that we're going to end up using when we have a spare slot. Not sure just yet. Uh, we also now have the full armor set. We will be giving this a go, but I might wait until Friday. Because I have a plan for what we're going to do with this. Uh, and then we have two bows. We have the Monsoon and the Maelstrom. Let's put these down here. Okay, Summoner and Rogue Weapons can go to the side and we will start by testing all of these. And then we'll see whether or not these are going to be replaced. I have decided to keep the uh, Kada or Cadaverous Carrion um, because it just does so much damage when you're digging with a single target enemy. Um, I had to kill um, Providence one more time. I ended up killing her twice and good lord did she die quickly when they were uh, she was standing above these. Um, so yeah. But yeah, let's get to the testing of what we have. So first we'll deal with all of the weapons and armors that we're not strictly speaking going to be using. We collected them, we may as well see what they do. So first one, uh, Unhappy Soul Edge. Fires a ghastly soul of a long deceased abyss dweller. Oh, it tracks. It tracks pretty heavily, but it does appear to impact on walls, so it doesn't make it particularly useful. It's also not doing a massive amount of damage. Um, Eidolon's staff fires a spread of ancient light and spinning ice clusters. That's not bad, but it's only really good against stationary targets because these things aren't really tracking, they're just going in a different direction. Uh, Idolonic Whale um, fires a string of bouncing sound waves that become stronger as they travel. Rip headphone users. I was warned. That's not too bad. this kind of range, that's a lot of damage. And it's disappeared. One more close up. Not much at all. Okay, bow time. Monsoon fires a spread of five arrows. Wooden arrows are converted into typhoon arrows and sharks.
Yeah, okay, that's all three of them hitting. Although one of them's hitting the ground. And the Maelstrom. Uh, fires a Reaper Shark that explodes into water. does okay damage but we still have things that will do more okay so that's those time to get on with the things we want to know whether or not they are upgrades uh, we'll start with the rogue weapons they have high base damages which promising we'll see they may be immediately superseded by other stuff that we're going to craft later, but we'll see. Um, okay. What's this one do? Throws a homing reaper scythe. Stealth strike spawns razor blade typhoons on enemy hits. It's another one that um, hits enough times that it's just auto-triggering our armor ability. That one still does more. We have to wait longer for it to recharge stealth, but it is doing more damage per second. Okay, so what about this one? Deep Sea Dumbbell. Throws a dumbbell that bounces and flings weights with each bounce. Press right click to flex, increasing the damage of your next attack up to five times damage. Flexes can hit enemies directly. <laughs> Well, base damage isn't particularly good. Hmm. That doesn't actually appear to be doing any more damage, really. Increases damage of your next attack up to five times damage. I'm not seeing any kind of buff. And yeah, that's not got any increase in damage. Just throw that. I'm only saying it's doing about 2,000 to 4,000, depending on how often it crits. We've flexed five times. Okay, that did a fair bit more damage. I can see the five times on that, but compared to, again, that thing and how much this will do to a um, multi-segmented enemy, then neither of those are worth it, unfortunately. Okay, next we have one summon weapon. Let's take these off. Let's just summon a whole bunch of these. Summons a miniature squid that viciously inks enemies. At long distance, the squid will fire aggressive homing ink volleys. At close distance, the squid will latch onto an enemy and deal increased damage. 
In the abyss, all kinds of resources are scarce. Every species is solitary. There's simply not enough to share. Attack speed is good, but their damage is very much lackluster. We are missing a summon, summon, but even then, I think basically every summon we have deals more damage than that. So we have no upgrades here, unfortunately. Or at least no direct upgrades. We will have to make do with what we have. Um, as we go and kill Poltergeist a few more times. Um... You go in there. This goes in here. Um, and now I've put a bunch of these to the side. One of you wants to go in... Oh, the calamari thing should have gone in there. Uh, where did that go? There it is. You get back in your frame. Okay, Kalamari goes in here. The other two things we got... Did they have upgrades? I don't think they did. At least I don't think they hit did beyond... Where'd I put them? Oh no, I just don't think they did. Damn it, they're not going to be listed in here. I'd have to find them in here. Uh, that's filtered. Default sorting. Survive ID. Value. Damage total quantity. That's not helpful. Well, the dumbbell. Uh, if we go flawless, that's going to... No? Did we not put them in here? Or does it just not search by that? There's the dumbbell. But I don't remember what the other thing was. Oh well. If we need it, we'll end up finding out later and we'll have to go search for it. Uh, let's put this lot away for the time being. We will use it later. For now. We have other things we must attend to. And I believe all of these... Oh, you're used for this. Fair enough. I will put you to one side then. I don't believe you have an upgrade. No, so you can just go away. That is a material, but it's only used in that. That has an upgrade. So that needs to be put to one side, and you're your max form. Uh, okay, this goes in here with this. These go in here. This goes in the range chest. New Cosmic Anvil. Right, um, we need the item to summon Poltergeist. Time of day doesn't matter. Um, let us get these. Because we're going to need to kill this a few times. If it looks like we have it on lockdown, then I won't force you to watch me farm it, but we've only fought it once. It wasn't much of a threat that time, but that may have been luck on our part. So we shall not take any chances. Um, anything else? Uh, let me... Yeah, I think that's all we need. Let me get over there. Um, we will then summon things once we are over there and go from there. Okay, one thing I want to do while I'm over here, um, I want to replace this with... Um, are those candles on? Yes. Uh, I want to replace this with um, platforms. 
This is primarily so that our sentries can shoot through everything without too much trouble. I think that's a platform there, so... Place for a platform. Everything looks a little weird, but nothing I can do about that. Take these up. Okay. Some of these. Put one here. One here, some of that, one, two, three, four, buffs, five. One of them dead. We know we're going to need a bunch of them. Let's make sure the minions are still up. They are. Number two. Let's go. It is being very, very generous with its um, trophies. Okay. That's a decent amount. Um, I know we need another copy of this from this guy. Um, back. We don't need the hook. It looks like we've got everything else. I don't know whether we have sufficient quantities of everything else, but it doesn't look like we've got everything else. <sighs> Did we get a second copy of this? We have done, there it is. Was there anything else in here we needed two copies of? Vanishing hook may have been something, or that may just be... Oh no, that's used for that. We did need a copy of that. We've now got two of them. Uh, the question is whether or not this is enough. Because we need two sets of this. So that's four, seven, nine. So we need ten per these. Five, ten, so thirty. Fifty five. We need two of those. Sixty. Sixty five. Yeah, we need to kill it a few more times. Um, we've lost some of our buffs. Let me disable these just so that we have extra buff space. Get our remaining missing buffs. They're still here.
Okay, that should do. Let's clear up. There shouldn't be sufficient enough stuff around here that we need to use a vacuum potion. But we'll sort out our inventory. Um, hopefully we've not been using too many of these that we need to sort out. Another one in here. Not that I can see. Okay, let's get out of here before we get another one. Right, okay. I'll quickly sort through my inventory, then we have some more crafting and some more testing to do. I'll be right back. Okay, inventory sorted. 97 is the sum total that we have. Um, and we also got like 200 portoplasm from it. Um, we have these are all new. Um, we will have a look at those in a second. We've also got two more vanity sets from, I believe it's Mod Loader that adds them. Um, where is you? I think. It's this one. I think it's that one. It is that one. Doesn't look anything like Poltoplasm, but given the lore that we read on it, it does kind of make sense. Okay, so let's quickly throw that in there. I don't believe these are duplicates. We have had some duplicates before. Yeah, that one's not a duplicate. And that is not a duplicate. Right, uh, let's have a look at these. I'm assuming they're minions. Ah, there it is. Cute little thing. Um, summons a small Polterchan. Isn't that the same thing? An ancient ghastly... Oh, that's the problem. Um, we actually have these disabled at the minute. Okay, let's try this again. So, that's Polterchan, and then this is the Ancient Ghastly Fetus. Good lord, and it's even attached to us with an umbilical cord. It is very much true to its name, it can go away. Right, um, we have three weapons, they are melee based. And a ranged base one, we will give them a quick test. And then we will craft all of the rest of the stuff that we need to. And we need to get rid of you. Okay. Turblade fires a terror beam that bounces off tiles. be really good for area clear assuming that um, the actual effect does any damage. Um, swings a banshee hook that fires blades uh, and explodes on hit. Okay, explodes on melee hit. Decent amount of damage from it. And lastly, shoots a demonic flame or a demonic fireball as well as four regular arrows. 66% chance to save ammo. And it accelerates. And they're exploding in the distance. Fair enough. Uh, two of those want to be put away, one of these wants to be put to the side because it's required for... I keep forgetting which chest I put them in. There they are, it's in here. Is that the right order? Not that it matters. 
Yes. Still need a cosmic discharge, which, given, requires a cosmic anvil. Oh, there we go. Devour of gods. So yeah, we've not got that yet. That must be a crafting weapon. Crafted weapon. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and these two go away. Right. Do I want to do the armor first? Armor upgrade first? I think I want to do the armor upgrade first. Um, right. So we're going to need this. That's a spare. These. This. Just for the sake of remembering where we put everything. And then... Blood orbs. Okay. So these upgrades are... Um, I'll load up the thing here because it's easy to display it. These upgrades are kind of side upgrades. Um, they give us slightly better defense, but it's more... They have a different effect on them. But they're not really a straight upgrade from what we already have. So we're basically getting these two here. Um, if we look at the defense values of these, then we have 72 and 84. And that's 80 and 92, so it's not that much higher. Um, stealth is only 5 higher. The damage and minion counts on these are the same. But this one will summon us an additional minion. Uh, the, basically, the bonus effect of this is it summons a poltergeist mind that circles you. At 90% life and above, we do more damage. And at 50% life and below, we have more defense. Versus this one here, which summons an aura that damages things nearby. Um, that damage is around about 200 and something, I think, per second. Um, it's a reasonable radius. Um, and yeah, this also reduces spawn rate. It gives us that heart pickup thing, which is very, very useful. But we want to be making one of these sets, one of these sets, and then we're going to need one of these sets as well, because collectively, the three of them are used to make the Auric set, um, which, when combined, will give us the benefit, benefit of all three of the things that go into it. So it will give us the effect of this, the effect of this, and the effect of this. So that's why we're making it, because it is, in fact, very useful. Um, okay, so we're going to need 22. Can I make that here? Yes. I think we're just going to have one spare blood cord. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Um, 16. Where'd it go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirteen. Okay. Let's be certain about which ones we're crafting. We want two body pieces. We want two leg pieces. And then we want Summoner headpiece and Vogue headpiece. And that's just despair. Now, because we left things where they were supposed to be, if we click that button, they go away. And we can just grab these. Right. Um, so, with that in mind, let's swap over our armor. Uh, what did this set give? 10% increased rogue damage and critical chance, 5% increased movement speed. The set bonus is 120 uh, maximum stealth. Being over 80% life boosts your defense by 30 and increases rogue crit by 5. Being below 80% life boosts your rogue damage by 10%. Rogue critical strikes have a 50% chance to heal you. With this on, we don't need this. Although, life steal and crit. Yeah, we don't need that. We can replace this with something else. And then swap this over. Oh, 
They circle at a ways. I was expecting them to be a little bit closer in. particular effect isn't all that useful. Oh yeah, I forgot that this set in general also greatly increases life regeneration, equivalent to Crimson Armour. That's the other bonus thing. Uh, because we're now using this set, the wings that we have here don't make any sense to have on us anymore. So we can actually... I believe these have Warden on them. We can do that temporary swap. We can't upgrade them yet because I think that needs Cosmic. Yeah, Cosmic Anvil, Cosmic Bars. So that's when we get the next upgrade for that. That does give us a spare slot that we can put something in. We ended up not using this. We have something else we could equip for now. Let's summon damage specifically. Or do we just want to grab this? There are plenty of things that we could grab. Um, the ones near the bottom are the higher rarity ones, I think. Damage reduction, movement speed, old Duke scale. Oh, yeah, I am in what that one does. That's not useful. You reflect projectiles when they hit you. It's defense damage. That's a parry. Movement speed boost. for ranged attacks, movement speed jump, enemies take immense damage if they touch you and are afflicted with damage and sicknesses. This one is potentially a good one to have. I don't think there's any in here that also grant us an extra summon. Other than the one we said we probably wasn't going to use, which was just the generic one. melee and we're getting to the point where these are less and less useful we have a better one than that I think we're just gonna for the time being unless I can see one that is really really quite good for this build which I don't think we have yet I think there is one waiting somewhere to be upgraded to give us a really really good one but I think that will have to do for now something in one of these. I think it's this, isn't it? This is going to be a really good thing for summoners. Angelic Alliance. Cause one forces the heaven to empower your attacks and minions. Plus two minions. Increase summon damage. And then damage on all other classes. Yeah, we kind of want this. But we are missing Shadow Spec Bars. Which, being a developer item, makes me think that this is an end game item and not something we're going to be able to use anytime soon. The Amalgam upgrades to. Well, Amalgam Brain upgrades straight up to the Amalgam. Increased damage. That's a potentially good one to have. Can't do it yet. Uh, what about this one? Can't do it yet. Increases max HP, take more than 5 damage, converts it into damage time bleed effect. Mm, 
we'll all worry about it for now. Uh, we will have a better look at all of these later because there's definitely stuff in here that is still potentially very, very useful to us. Um, why do we have that in our inventory? We borrowed it. It needs to go back away. There we go. Um, and let's take you off of there. We can probably now put this back on. That increases our critical strike chance. Rogue protect our speed. Luna flares and hits. Rogue protect us very occasionally summons moon signals behind them. Press said. Um, oh, that's Q. To consume. Performs teleportation. Momentary vulnerability. If you dodge something, you gain full strength. Teleportation is disabled while chaos state is active. Stealth generates faster. I think we'll go with that. Okay. Right, let us put these away, because they need to be. Uh, the wings can go away permanently. And then we have more crafting to do. We've wasted some time. Let's try and hurry up with the crafting, because there is a lot of it. Right. Whole bunch of stuff in here. Let's just grab it all. That one, that one. I recognise that one. I recognise that. We need two of these. We need two of these. One of these. Do we have the space? We do! There are some potentially nice upgrades in here. Uh, no, not that. That one. That one for sure. That one for sure. That one for sure. Definitely that one. Two of these. And apparently I miscounted and we have this spare. And we ran out, or we almost ran out of Ruinous Souls. Is there anything we forgot to get, or we was going to get? I don't remember crafting that. Oh, bollocks. There's stuff in here still. We need more Ruinous Souls. Um... One moment, please. I'm going to have to go kill the poltergeist again. We ran out of Ruinous Souls. This is where the remainder of stuff is. Um, so, yeah. We will get to testing these in a second. For now. That's why we ran out of stuff. We'll get to testing those in a minute. If you'll excuse me, I need to go kill the poltergeist a couple more times. Probably only once, but we'll go twice. But yeah, one moment, I will be right back. Okay, we have all the stuff we need. Let's craft these last three things. And there they are. Oops, I accidentally grabbed that armor. Again, we'll deal with this armor. That's not the leg piece. Uh, we'll do that, that piece of armor on Friday. Okay, so, oops, I just hit the microphone, my apologies. We have a lot of stuff in here that is potentially very nice. Um, this thing here is just an upgrade for something we had previously. It increases our wing flight time. Um, and increases our movement speed and acceleration. We have an unbound key that gives you the power of ascension, providing infinite flight for four seconds. This would actually be potentially pretty good for these boots, because these boots don't have a massively long flight time. But they do have a reasonable amount of flight speed. So... I noticed that while fighting, or I remember, or was reminded of that while fighting Portoplasm. Um, this other thing, however, um, may actually just immediately swap out um, this thing here that we was using. 
So rather than using the uh, Reaper Tooth, uh, the Phant well, Phantomic Artifact, um, which is an upgraded version to the previous one, basically all of the buffs this thing gives are now better and it has an additional effect um, on enemy hit. Um, yeah, it will sometimes be hit by Phantom, or by, uh, phantom Knives. Uh, I will need to give that Warden... I will probably forget, but I have now at least said it, so if I do forget, it is entirely my fault. Right, now let's separate out rogue weapons and summon weapons and things. These are magic weapons, that's a magic weapon, that's a ranged weapon, that's a rogue weapon. That can be put away, that can be put away. Melee weapon, magic weapon. There we go. I thought there was another summon um, item that we had to grab, but apparently not. Right, let's get to testing. Uh, let's get everything that is melee weapon first. There's a lot of magic weapons here. Right. So, last morning, summons flaming pumpkins and morning skulls that split into fire orbs on enemy hit. And it helps if we summon that and get rid of you. Uh, let's also get rid of all of our buffs. Oh, we can't get rid of those. That's going to skew things. That doesn't matter for this slot. So we won't worry about that for this. Ah, it's one that does this. Fair enough. Um, Neptune's bounty fires a trident that rains additional tridents as it travels. Um, hitting enemies will inflict crushing depth debuff. Okay, and those additional tridents um, are homing. So this is another weapon that is potentially good for a melee user for area clear of lots of enemies. Death's Ascension. Press right click to launch a barrage of homing scythes. You can feel uh, the hands of death itself on you. That's a lot of damage. These are very home insights. Interesting. Uh, let me just compare damage against this. Yeah, no, this is still better general damage. That's fine. Okay, and these are all final forms. These are indeed all final forms. Let's test the ranged weapons next. I think that's a flamethrower. And then that's just a gun. This is used in the god item, which is why we crafted two of them. Uh, we do have some gel on us. Let's try this one first, the hand cannon. Fires high explosive peanut shells, literally. The power of the nut rests in your hands. Not bad. That's moving way too fast for us to be able to see if that is actually a nut, but... Decent damage. Okay. Fires a burst of in or intensely concentrated lunar jet or fire jets. Press right click to zoom out. Uses gel for ammo. Interesting. Let me get some more gel. 
that does not work like a traditional flamethrower. It's heavily piercing, but then so is the magical item that we're using as our backup weapon for the time being. Okay, uh, that does have an upgrade path, this does not. Right, next up, magic weapons. These first two are used in the god item. That has a further upgrade, and these are their final forms. Okay, first things first. Um, we are still missing... there wasn't an upgrade in here for it. There is an item that we still need to get from the dungeon, and it's going to be very rare and very annoying. Once we get one of them, we can buy a second one. But we do need one of the spells from it. So yeah, first things first. Shadowbolt Staff. Uh, the more tiles and enemies this beam bounces off or travels through, the more damage the beam does. Probably the best we're going to get out of this. Yeah, it doesn't really do that much. In a really crowded space, just with a line of enemies, that might do a huge amount of damage. But that makes it horrendously situational, so it's not a good weapon to have on us. Cast a, phant a phantasmal bolt that explodes into more bolts. Using magic pretty liberal or our mana pretty liberally, faster than the other one, doesn't do as much damage. And it is mythical, so. Does it do more damage if we give it longer to fire? Kind of, yeah. But only for the bolts that can actually reach it. Interesting, but I don't think useful. Cast an infernal trident that erupts into a gigantic explosion of fire and magma shards. Well, that's going to be an effective area clear, but I'm not going to be able to see a bloody thing. That'll probably, again, work really get, uh, good on multi-segmented bosses, because the bosses are just going to go straight the way through that. But yeah. I'm not going to be able to see attacks coming from underneath here, and we already have problems with that, thanks to all of our minions. Okay, next up. Uh, Dark Spark. Uh, this is an upgraded version of the thing we get from the Moon Lord, and everything under the sun is in tune, but the sun is eclipsed by the moon. much damage. Might again be useful on multi-segmented bosses, but kind of eh. Kind of meh. Okay, Clamorous Nocturne. Fires night wyverns and stars from the sky that stick to enemies and tires and explode. I would very much like this to be an improvement over this, but I highly doubt it. We'll see. Against large enemies, it will do a bit more damage, but unfortunately, no. Does not like any of those fit the bill. Okay, let me quickly put all of these away in their proper places, and then we'll get on to testing the rogue and summon weapons. One moment, please. Alrighty then, time to get these last few items tested. Um, 
Let's start with this and go that way around, because I imagine this one here is going to do an enormous amount of single target damage. Just a feeling given from, or given the item it's upgraded from. Namely, uh, it was upgraded from this thing here, which we were using for a while. But yes, let's start with this one first. The Jaws of Oblivion um, throws a tight spread of six venomous reaper fangs that stick, t stick in enemies. Stealth Strike causes the teeth to emit crushing shockwaves on impacts. You're gonna need a bigger boot. That's pretty effective. I don't think it has any kind of home in ability. And that's still slightly more effective and does have, I think. Oh no, this one doesn't have a home in ability. I suppose it's hard to miss with this because it's a spread so it might be worth it because this effect also sticks around and lingers um okay flawless time bolt this is an upgrade to that one that was firing really really fast throws a temple knife that distorts time around enemies stealth strikes can hit more enemies and create larger time fields there should be no boundaries to human endeavor If you can hit consistently with Eve with this, then that's definitely more damage. Doesn't lock on. So that's another compelling argument to have this. What about this? Knight's Gaze. Strike your foe with a Spear of the Knight. Throws a spear that shatters uh, when it hits an enemy. Stealth Strike causes the spear to summon homing stars as it flies. Um, there we go, that one actually hit. This might be more effective against a moving target. Otherwise, it's kind of a downgrade to its um, original form. I think I'll keep um, the reality rupture just because it's it fires so damn fast. It is almost a hit, uh, almost a hit scan weapon. It's not quite though, and I think I'll replace this, but I don't know which one with. Passing through enemies again. I think we'll keep this one. Reason being, it crits more times. Uh, that's a material. That's a material. That one's to be put away. Okay, to summoner. Take these off. Right. These are the new ones. This one is the one that has the ludicrously high damage amount. Has double the damage of this and uses four slots. 
where this uses six slots. Summons the brightest star in the night sky to shine upon your foes. There can only be one star at a time. And unfortunately, I don't think that does enough damage to be worth it. It's not firing fast enough. Particularly for six minion slots. There we go. Now that they're both attacking in sync, they're doing almost twice the amount of damage and use less slots. So unfortunately, I don't think that in its current form is any good, but it has a, higher, uh, has a higher form. There's one more upgrade to it. It has two more upgrades to it. Although I think this is probably going to be a downgrade. It is still Calamity Mod, not Calamity Vanity. It summons a variety of tools to assist you in battle. So maybe, but we'll see. Everything will be upgraded to its highest tier, whether we use it or not. Okay. Warlock's Moon Fist summons a Celestial Fist to punch enemies for you. Again, it's just... weak source amounts of damage. slots and we're only getting 4,000 out of it. No summon upgrades it seems. This one doesn't have an upgrade. Just not good enough. Everything we have deals more damage. There might be an exception here. This uses three slots, and how much damage does it do? Just shy of 3,000. 2,500 to... So maybe there is a, re uh, a world where this makes sense. Because that is a hit scan weapon. And it's 4,000 damage, so versus... Ah, yeah, but it's six slots. So we'd need to be doing 5,000 damage to be doing more damage than um, the Void Concentration Staff. The only advantage it has is its piercing and its hit scan, Which means it's potentially good against um, multi-segmented bosses if you have the right line upon them. So yeah, too situational. Okay, little disappointing. Never mind, we did get at least one upgrade out of all of this, um, not including our armor. Let's put these back on. Okay, so we will leave it there for today and we'll be back on Friday. The plan for Friday will be um, we're going to try and fight the Primordial Worm. We're also going to take on um, Duke Fishington a couple more times to see if we can get its summons. Um, the Primordial Worm is absolutely not required for anything, but I would like to get myself a hold of... Where are you? This thing here to see if it's any good to see if this is an upgrade, because this one most definitely was. A uh, side upgrade, at least. Um, we're probably going to need this, I imagine, Fetid Emissary. I imagine it's used in... Yeah, that's what I thought. One of these. It's an upgrade to the SDMG. SDFMG. Has another upgrade. Um, so, yeah. We'll be killing Duke Fishing or the old Duke um, a few more times. We'll try and get the Primordial Worm, and if we have the time, Devour of Gods is on the menu. 
but we'll see how everything else goes. But for now, we'll leave it. So thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.